Happy New Year, Akio May. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a great start to the new year 2024. This is gonna be a video about me complaining about a bunch of nonsense and settling on my new year's resolution. So, I decided to delay my trip to Japan because if I went back in December, I would be back by now. But if I go later in the year, I would be able to stay longer. For reasons, reasons that are too long to explain. I cannot partake in the amazing end of year shopping and also fukubukuro hunting in Japan. But that is a good price to pay. I would rather, you know, stay longer in Japan than just go there, have fun, say hi and bye, and then skedaddle. Ultimately, it's a bunch of first world problems. Who cares if I miss out on a few fukubukuro? It's okay to save money, but I did get lucky here this year. The shopping scene was very um, unusual. It's no secret that I'm the worst shopper in the world. I'm the kind of person who sees a sale and I'll be like, let's wait for a few days and then everything would be sold out and I just completely miss out on it. But this year, I did that and the styles I wanted, my size, they were all in stock. Usually with end of year or new year sales, they add to the discount over the days so maybe it's already 50% the next day they say huh no one's biting so we add another 10% and then another five days they add another 10% if no one is biting still so yeah that happened this year and that's where the frustrating part started for me this is not a big deal I was frustrated but I can laugh about it so I usually wait, but for some reason, this year, I bought my stuff the day before they announced additional discounts. Did not happen to me once, not twice, three freaking times. Uh, if something happens to me once, I'm like, meh, alright. Second time, mm. third time, nope, 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 I'm cursed. I'm just the worst shopper in the world. It's official. I'm just the worst. Fuck me sideways, guys. Let's make this video slightly more interesting. I got myself something from Peter Alexander this year. So, I'll show you the most frustrating purchase at the end. I've only ever bought PA as gifts because my family loves PJs. So, this year, I decided to indulge myself. I got the... I think this is one of their breakfast set. So it's milk. It pairs with this one here. My forever favorite. The Nightmare Before Christmas and it glows in the dark. Given my laundry skills, the glow in the dark material will probably fade off. Yeah, I'm not gonna learn how to do laundry for this. No, 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 no. And the shot that goes with it. I think it's cute. It's just cute. I love all of like PA's collaborations with Disney. They're just uh they're just cute. And some of them are really classy. Oh, here comes the most frustrating set of them all. The first two sets I showed you, they had additional discounts applied to them, so days after the New Year sale. But this one, I bought this set at the New Year sale. It wasn't too bad, but still, I would have appreciated the extra discount. And that's this one. I like how they put the boxer in this like mock cereal box. 
It's just cute. They had Rice Krispies and also Fruit Loops. The Breakfast Club! Oh, look at that! Yeah. Can I name them all? Tony the Tiger. Yeah, that's all. I think Snap Crackle Pop. And then the Coco Pop Monkey and the Hornbill, right? Is that a Hornbill? The bird? The Fruit Loop bird? got some itsy bitsy teeny weeny things here and there it's nothing crazy so not really worth unboxing but my hair is getting crazier though some stuff from country road if you know that brand it's a lifestyle brand from australia just bought some normal clothing so that i can wear it among people who are dressed in normal clothes non lolita that is Going back to what I said before, I think it's highly unusual how a lot of things were still in stock after a few days of sale. I mean, I usually miss out, so it's a bit concerning if not a lot of people are shopping. And that's because the economy is collapsing. But you know what, we're not gonna discuss those things on this channel. So. The last thing to address, my New Year's resolution. There is one scene from Persona 5 that I can totally relate to. And that is this one. Don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice! I want to be more of a jerk this year. To those who think I'm already a jerk, you clearly haven't seen what's out there because you haven't been out there. Don't be a Joshua Wallace guy, seriously, it's really not cool. Just because I put up with the shit that people say or do, it doesn't mean I enjoy them. I'm just trying to be patient, I don't know, more compromising, something like that because I know people these days are insane, so you know, I'm being nice. Just learn how to be a decent human being. And on that happy note, I'll end my video. I hope to see you in my next one.